Okay, so now, combinations with cases. Folks, this is exciting. Okay, so uh, non, so we're looking at combinations, which we just did, but now we're, we're gonna have cases or, or different scenarios. So imagine that you have a test and you must answer three of the five short answer questions and six, uh, two of the six essay questions. How many, how many combination questions are possible? So this is possibly a grade 12 exam or something like that, or maybe the essays aren't that long. All right, so here we have, we have to choose three of the five here. So 5C3, and also we've got six, and we have to choose two of them, okay? So this is where we don't have the cases, but we need to look at the two scenarios. So five choose three is 10, and six choose two is 15. So we multiply those together and we get 150. Okay, now this is where our case example happens now. Here we have, on this test, we have to answer at least four of the five short answer questions. So that's really where our cases are gonna come from, okay? Where it says at least here, so you could either answer four out of five or five out of five, exactly. Okay, so case one, you answer four out of five, or case two, you answer five out of five. Does that, here, that looks like an S, make that a five. Okay, so four out of five, and this is five out of five. Okay, and the whole time, we, for both, we have to answer two of the six essay questions. Okay, so for this first case, we've got, we can choose four out of five of the short answer questions, and we can choose two out of the six. And then our second case here, where you've got five, you have to choose, you have to choose five of them. So you're basically doing all of them, okay? So there's really not much choice here, because then you end up getting one for that. Okay, so five choose four is five, and then six choose two is 15. And that equals 75. And five choose five, that is one. And six choose two is 15. Okay, so now what do I have to do to those two? I have to add up my cases. And then, so there's 90 total combinations that are possible. Okay, awesome. Now, your turn. You've got a bag, and it has hockey pucks. Six are red, eight are black. Assuming, assuming that they are distinguishable, draw five pucks from the bag, how many possible ways are there to have at least three red pucks? Okay, so at least, so this is where we get our, our cases from, right? So what are, what are all the options then? You could either have at least three. So how many red pucks do we have to start with? We have six to start with. Right? So you could have, so case one, you could have three red, and then how many blacks are left to choose? How many, you have two left, right? And then case two would be four reds, and then what's left? Left with one black, right? Because you have to draw five, so this has to add up to five each time. And then case three, if you choose five reds, then 
You All right. Now, if we figure out, so now we need to figure out each of these. So this is going to be 6 choose 3, and then 8 choose 2. This one's going to be 6 choose 4 times 8 choose 1, and then 6 choose 5, um, and then 8 choose 0, which is just going to be 1. So let's just ignore that and just leave it as that, right? Okay. So this first one, we end up with 20 and 28, and that together is 560. The second one here, we're going to have 15 times 8, and that is going to be 120. And this one's just going to be 6 times 1, which is 6. So now our final answer, we need to add them together. 560 plus 120 plus 6 equals 686. That is our final answer. Okay. All right. So there it is. And there's our homework, people. What do we do with the homework? Make it happen. Make it happen.